a photograph, and just before I hit the shutter, I see a reflection of the Shishar cat standing behind me. It was uh, this guy, Fred Kirsch, and he smiled, and I took a picture, and I turned around, and it says, I can see your, your, I can see by your camera your man of distinction, right? That's what he says to me. So then, you know, he said, he's a feature writer for a paper. We start walking and talking, and he uh, said, you know, we would come, you know, see our newspaper. I thought it was like a small storefront thing, but it was a, a big newspaper there, Middle Town Times Herald Record. And uh, so met the executive editor and he said, well, why don't you bring some pictures up? Hola, hola, estamos aquí en el seminario de fotoperiodismo de Atlanta y a continuación vamos a escuchar a Pete Sousa, nada más y nada menos el que era fotógrafo de los Obama en la Casa Blanca. Así que bueno, espero que disfruten y aprendan mucho como yo. that he's retiring um, as board president, not as photographer. Um, so I was hoping he was here so we could give him a big hand, but if he comes in, we'll give him a big hand and he won't know what we're talking about, so it'll be extra fun. Anyway, it's my great honor and pleasure to introduce our next speaker. Um, you may have heard of him. His name is Pete Souza. Uh, it's actually Pete's second, right? Your second, third uh, seminar appearance um, so we, you know, we were hip to Pete before he got, uh, everybody else got hip to him. We, we knew him way back when. Pete is a native of Massachusetts. He's got his uh, undergrad degree from Boston University, and he went to grad school at Kansas State. So Pete started out in newspapers. He worked for two small newspapers in Kansas before joining the Chicago Sun-Times. Pete was asked by our good friend Michael Evans, to join, uh, to join Michael uh, in the White House as one of the White House photographers in the Reagan administration. Uh, after that, Pete freelanced for about nine years, uh, and then he joined the Chicago Tribune as their DC-based national photographer. Uh, more recently, I don't know if you guys know this, but more recently, Pete has been the chief official White House photographer for Barack Obama. And Pete tells me that chief official White House photographer is actually his own made up title. A um, couple things you may not know about Pete. Uh, he wished, and uh, to his great consternation, he never did play for the Boston Red Sox. He never did play bass for the E Street Band, but he does have 1.6 million Instagram followers. Pretty cool. Pete estimates that he took 1.9 million photos uh, while he was in the White House. 300 of those wound up in his new book, Obama, an Intimate Portrait. Now this book was just released this week, it was released on Tuesday. And in just a few short days, and I find this to be unbelievable, it's already into its fourth printing which is incredible. So Pete has been a popular guy. In the last week he's done, uh, he estimates about 20 interviews uh, in relation to this book. Um, so we're so happy to have him here. Please make him feel welcome. Pete Susan.
I got to do one thing before we leave. <laughs> You can make the switch. What's happening there, people? There we go. So, Michael, you left your phone up here, or is this recording or something? Maybe it's Eli's phone. Eli, did you leave your phone up here? I have a phone here. So just a brief word about how I got started out with uh, Barack Obama. I was working for the Tribune, as Michael had said, and um, the first time I met him was on his first day in the Senate. I was based in Washington, working for the Tribune, so we decided to kind of follow his first year in the Senate. So this is his office, his first office on the Hill. See all those fluorescent lights, you get the computer on the floor. and. I really had this thought in my mind that if this guy ever becomes president, because there was always a lot of hype then, that this is going to be a really cool picture to have. Um, his family, who stayed in Chicago, came to Washington on that first day in the Senate, because it was kind of a ceremonial type day. Oh, little, little Sasha and Malia. So here's the thing. I've just met this guy hours before for the first time. I'm in his private space. I'm like four feet away from him. He's eating a sandwich. It's in the cheek of his mouth. And Sasha's eyeing the other half of his mouth. And, he's, and th there's like nobody paying attention to me. And I realized that this guy was going to be like a great photographic subject. Um, four years later, I got a phone call from uh, Robert Gibbs, who is his emissary as president-elect asking me to become White House photographer. Um, so just to start out, I mean, my goal was to create the best photographic archive that had ever been done uh, of a president. And in order to do that, I needed to have presented differently. But I've been a journalist. Um, I mean, it's not like you, uh, you, you do things any differently. Uh, you know, I realize I'm not a journalist when you're in that role, you're on the government payroll. And, but, you know, it's, I, I didn't approach things any differently in terms of the pictures that I, that I made. Um, and, and even in the way we edited was, what's the best picture? What's the picture that best reflects the, you know, the mood and emotion of what's taking place? That's what, you know, we, we tried to do. There are times where we release pictures and they would be used out of context in GOP ads, you know, because they were so authentic where, you know, maybe he's agonizing them over something or other. And then they use that in a, in a, in a negative way. But that's a certain question today. I think we can do a couple more. I'm good. Huh? Two more. Two more. Two more. <laughs> See that? I'm negotiating for you guys. Way in the back. I give that guy a chance, and then I'll let him pick the next, the last one. I'm, I'm, you were talking about when the pictures come into public domain. I'm just curious, ownership, where where does this come down? Is this a part of his library? So and I, I shot 1.9 million photos My with my staff. Together, we have 4 million. And every single one of those was transferred to the National Archives. We started way before January 20th. And the transfer, as you can imagine. And um, there's already thousands in the public domain. Uh, and then there's, uh, they fall under the auspices of the Presidential Records Act. I think it's like 12 years, they, uh, all the pictures can be FOIA, you know, Freedom of Information Act request. So like now, like everything that I took in the Ray administration, I think pretty much every single frame is is public domain. So there'll come a time where some poor soul, you know, can go through, you know, 
million of my photos and you know make a determination if if I if I edited the right ones or not. Uh, pick the you get the last choice. You can pick whoever you want. She's had her hand up for a long time. Thank you. First of all, I'm just so happy to be here. We, me and my friends here have come near and far to get our book signed, so we cannot wait for that. Um, my question is- Who am I signing of, books? Like, <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I agree to do that? Oh. So my question is kind of piggybacking off of what you just said. I didn't know that you had a staff. So in the instances when you would get sick or you would be under the weather, did you employ your staff and how were they even hired? Or how does one get hired to be one of the staff? Uh, so, in eight years, I took one sick day. And it was because I had to go under anesthesia to do a colonoscopy. That's what happens when you are over 50. <laughs> and so they wouldn't, I was trying to like work it out so I could do it at like five in the morning and still come to work at like 10 or something, but they wouldn't let me. Uh, I, ha I, also, I also had pneumonia twice while I was in the warehouse, and I just like worked through it. I made sure it wasn't contagious first, and then when they said it wasn't contagious, I just like, you know, I'm a pretty stubborn guy. Uh, and it's is the uh, I, I was always I didn't want to miss anything, right? It's like you, know, you don't know when history is going to happen, so that's why I. I, I uh, uh, I didn't I didn't take any vacation the first five years. Then in my greatest time at the White House, I got married, right? Even though I'd been with my wife for 20 years, but we got married in 2013. So kind of the last three years, I had to take one week vacation each year or, you know. <laughs> so, all right, thanks.